And a pack of dogs attacks a mother and three of her kids outside of an, an Indianapolis daycare. You're seeing some video right here. It's not the first time those same dogs have wreaked havoc on that neighborhood. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik shows us some of the traumatic moments the victims say should have never happened in the first place. My kids are scared. I'm scared. We all feared for our life in that phase. Daycare pickup turned terrifying in a matter of seconds for Mother Savandria Houston. Screams and barks rang out as more than a dozen dogs circled around her car Tuesday afternoon. If you've ever watched the movie Lion King, it's like a pack of hyenas. You, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what's going to happen. The mother of three was picking up her kids from daycare on the far east side when it unfolded. While her two and three year old daughters and one year old son escaped untouched, the pack of pit bulls swarming her left their marks before running off. I'm kicking, I'm kicking. The dogs are biting at my ankles. They're biting at my feet. So had it been 20 seconds earlier, it would have been one of my kids. Houston says she and the kids are still traumatized by the attack. And unfortunately, they're not the first victims of the very same dogs. In fact, homeowners Sarah Cook and Ryan Lesher had an eerily similar encounter 10 days earlier. <laughs> Nearly a dozen dogs charged down the hill and onto their patio. We saw two dogs running this direction. We kind of looked out and tried to see where they were going. And couldn't see them, said maybe we should go back in. They're, they don't, maybe they're not friendly. And then as soon as we turn, there's 11, 12 other dogs coming from this direction. And we're just bombarded. The dogs bit Ryan on the arm and Sarah around her torso, leaving behind blood and puncture wounds. We're two grown adults and we were just a couple feet from our door and people could have been killed. It could have been a lot worse. There have been four police reports filed against the dog's owner since May. The owner was also charged with several ordinance violations. A few resulted in fines. Neighbors also say animal control picked up the dogs yesterday, but both families say something else needs to change too. Something's got to be done. There's no reason someone has that many dogs in their backyard. Both families say Marion County needs to limit the number of dogs a person can have so incidents like these don't happen again. We also tried to contact the dog's owners, but the property was fenced off. In Marion County, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.